Maria from Uganda. Dear Pastor Chris, there are countries, especially in Africa, where people are suffering in the hands of dictators and cruel leaders. My question is, is the life of one person, the dictator, more important than the thousands that suffer at his hands? Why does God let these leaders stay in power for a long time and have their way? <laughs> Thank you. Well, there are certain things we need to realize. And... Um, Firstly, generally these leaders that you're talking about are not aliens who have come from other countries to use up authority in the countries that they govern. They're usually citizens of those countries where they have become leaders. Which means the leaders are pulled from the the people, from their own people. How did the people produce such despots? How did the, the people produce such kind of leaders? They came from among them. Recognize this. Every nation gets the leadership that it deserves. That's important. Every nation gets the leadership that it deserves. The leaders come from among the people. How do you solve the problem then? Firstly, education. Education is important for every country. Secondly, a record joint. Throughout Africa and other nations that have these kind of problems, they require a record joint. A new way of thinking. And if you educate the people, you will get leaders from among the people that you have educated. If you culture them properly, you will get leaders from among those that you have cultured. So the problem is, most of Africa is uneducated. They don't understand the sanctity of life. Most don't understand the importance of good governance. And so they've struggled their way to where they are. And um, they've gotten leaders from among them that way. And remember, most of the world was that way one time. Europe, Asia, most of them were that way. They also had some despots. They also had tyrants, terrible leaders, one time or the other. See, but through education and reculturing of the people, they have come to where they are. That is the solution for Africa as well. So it's not that God is leaving these people in office. Where do you want him to get the leaders from? Bring you leaders from some other country? The problem is, when you take out these leaders and new ones come in, sometimes they are worse than the previous ones. And that has been the experience in most of Africa. So the problem is not just who is the leader presently, the problem is the pool from where we get the leaders. And so if we want to make a change, we must make a change in the pool from where the leaders come. So begin now to work towards the future by educating the people and reculturing the people. Uh, public enlightenment of some kind will be very beneficial. Thank you.